What we did here is interesting in that we built this outdoor kitchen that's right behind me. We had some interesting uh, developments along the way. Some tell me that they want us to put our mistakes in the videos. I don't like to say that we made any mistakes here, but we had some things that didn't go exactly as we intended. He probably sees something that he thinks is like an animal or something. He's like, there's a snake in the water. Concrete does have a tendency to crack a lot of times when you don't want it to. And even in a concrete countertop, it's not completely terrible if you have some minor cracks. The problem we had on this one is that even though we felt we constructed it very strong and stable in a way that wouldn't crack, we developed some cracks that were really unacceptable because they um, weren't just small and they didn't look good. So we looked into several solutions and we experimented and we tried a lot of things. We hope all of that led to some revelations that will help you if you have cracks you want to get rid of. We used two guys on it and it probably ended up taking us a couple weeks. If we had done it before, we could have done it a lot faster, but we would try different things. The cracking and then the getting the finish right, that took a while. We kept trying to perfect what we were doing, so it's not that we'd do anything differently, we'd just do it faster <laughs> because we would have been more familiar with it. We poured a colored concrete that was to match the concrete around the pool, and it's called cobblestone. The original design is for a concrete countertop, and so our idea was we were just going to pour it in place. We were just going to finish it similar to how we finished the concrete, but smoother, use a sealer and food grade wax on it. So it was just going to be natural concrete, tie in to the natural concrete in this site, which is extensive. Usually cracks are associated with problems with temperature. It was a hot day. The concrete set up faster than we wanted. In the pouring of it, we had no major problems, and so we were not really sure what caused that amount of cracking because that is unusual. We've done uh, several concrete countertops and not really had a cracking issue. One thing that we might do differently if we were to do it again is instead of pour it all at once, which we did here, is maybe cut it in half and pour smaller sections. But we poured it all at once, seemed manageable, got it all finished, and we really had no indication that we were going to have the type of cracking problems we had. And as days went by, the cracks seemed to increase in size. With hairline cracks and the type of look we're after here, I don't think it would be a problem. But these cracks, as you can see, were more than hairline cracks and detracted from what we were trying to create. The repair process is very inexpensive. I think we bought everything we needed in terms of material to repair the cracks and stain it and then put a top coat on it. That cost us only five or six hundred dollars, so it's really very affordable. Because it set up fast and we were struggling to finish it properly, some of the concrete countertop had a finish that we didn't particularly care for. We are after something smooth that's appropriate for a concrete countertop. When we first started grinding, we thought maybe we could retain the concrete, but we soon discovered as we looked into filling the cracks more that probably wasn't necessary. So we started using a system called Life Deck Specialty Coatings, which is essentially an overlay a very, very sturdy overlay that you can even drive trucks over. In this case, we weren't going to drive a truck over it, but we didn't want something that's going to be coming off uh, later. So we uh, developed a technique where we ground everything smooth. That gave us an opportunity to make everything as smooth as we wanted with the grinding. And then we filled the cracks with a combination of uh, the Life Deck specialty coatings and some drywall tape. We used the drywall tape and then we did the overlay with the life deck coating. And the whole idea of the overlay is that it looks like concrete. So we were hoping we might be able to do an overlay and then finish the overlay and we would be done. The overlay worked good. Patching the cracks seemed to work very well. Uh, you can't really tell there was even any cracks at all, even though they were fairly major.
But uh, when we tried to finish the overlay, we weren't real thrilled with the color and it had kind of a splotchiness to it and it didn't look like natural concrete to us. But we weren't happy with the finish. We wanted the color similar to our original pour, and we couldn't get it to look like that. So what we ended up doing is using AmeriCrete concrete stain and accents. They were able to match the exact color we wanted to use. And so we stained the concrete. So this covered all the blemishes, covered everywhere that we patched cracks, and still we were hoping it would look like concrete. That stain works very well and it did pretty much what we wanted it to do. But the downside of that is uh, once done, it looked a little too much like we painted the concrete and that's not what we wanted the concrete countertop to look like. So then we experimented with AmeriCrete stain accents, different colors like a lighter gray and a, and a charcoal. And we experimented with a technique that's almost like what you'd call faux painting where you put these accents on the stained concrete to make it more uneven and more like realistic concrete. And you can see what we've created here where we have a little variation in color instead of this monolithic gray that looks a little bit like paint. Now we have these various colors and it looking uh, like concrete or similar to natural concrete. The nice thing about uh, this color that we ended up with is it ties in nicely with some of the other colors in the garden. Specifically, the tile under the pergola is almost a perfect match and it looks like an appropriate color for the kitchen. So after we arrived at the right colors and we had it like we wanted it, then we used uh, two or three coats of a food grade sealer and then we used a food grade wax over the sealer to create this very smooth countertop that's reminiscent of what you would think of as a countertop, not a rough concrete, but very smooth and nice to the touch. And so the finished product is something that's, I think, realistic. It looks like a hand-hewn uh, concrete countertop. You know, it has some imperfections in it, but we like to think they're attractive. We're now happy with it. It looks like a real concrete countertop and is functioning very well. We've worked at this site for a while now and we did uh, a number of videos that were amounted to troubleshooting videos. One was about irrigation systems and we described how to address dry spots. And then we did another video here when we first installed the sod and it's a video all about sod installation and then we did a general video here about different spaces in the garden because this uh, garden is a very large garden and has lots of usable spaces the most obvious being the outdoor kitchen one we're sitting at is a covered pergola which is adjacent to the outdoor kitchen which makes sense and then there's a whole range of other outdoor spaces so check that one out also